We're going to install Battle Code 2018, but this will be like one of those cooking shows where they mix the ingredients and then they pull a fresh one out of the oven. Here we go. Follow the instructions here. I'm going to click there and I'm going to scroll down. Here are the instructions for installing on a Unix machine or on Windows 10 or ah, Windows 7, 8 or 10 home. That includes me. If you can't remember your operating system, just right click on my PC and select properties. The operating system edition appears here. Okay, let's close that. It says first install Docker toolbox. Okay, let's open a new tab. Click this button, get Docker toolbox for Windows. That'll download a file called docker-toolbox.exe in your downloads folder. Run that and go through the prompts. It says that here, download the executable and follow the wizards to install it. This is the part where I take the cake out of the oven. I'm, I've already installed it. Search for docker quick start terminal and install it. Okay, docker quick start, okay, enter. Good. Now for me, this showed this picture of a whale right away. For you, it'll have to install something, so wait a couple minutes till the whale appeal, appears. Later, you're going to enter commands in this window, which we're calling the Docker Quick Start Terminal. So don't close this window. Okay, that's what it says here. Download Battle Code 2018 scaffold from this GitHub. I mean, it's the same place where these instructions are located. It says here we can clone or download the repository. If you know what cloning a repository is and you know how to use GitHub, great, you can do it. If you're just an ordinary pleb like me, you can just download the zip file by selecting this button here. So you click the green button and then download the zip file. The zip file will make this folder called bc18-scaffold-master.zip. So just right click and extract all. Okay, and that'll make a folder inside the folder that has the same name as the other folder. Because somebody at some point thought that was a good idea. I always think it's confusing. These files contain the battle code players. Okay, I'm going to minimize that for the moment. So I extracted the zip file that I downloaded from bc18-scaffold repository. Let's go back to the instructions. It says to download the scaffold, you can use the green button to download the files, then manually unzip them. And that's what I did. Check that you have at least two gigabytes of space available on your hard drive. Okay this PC. Okay, my hard drive C has 32.5 gigabytes available. That's plenty. You'll need this much for the Docker installation. In the quick start terminal, navigate to the location of the unzipped files. You can navigate using CD and LS. For more information on navigating a file system with a Unix terminal, see this link. Okay, so LS tells us what folders are in view from where we're currently located. I can see the downloads folder is here so I can do CD space downloads and now you can see that this line includes the word downloads so if I do LS from here I can see everything that's visible the same way if I were looking at this downloads folder in the Windows File Explorer I can navigate to the new folder called BC18 scaffold master this unzipped version again using CD. So CD battle code, no it's BC, and I push tab for autocomplete, and then I forward slash, and then another tab, because there's only one folder in there. Okay, now we're located in the battle code 18 scaffold master directory. Great. Okay, so it told us to navigate to that location, and we did it. Once you've navigated to that location, type bash run.sh bash run.sh now push return okay it says this will remove all the volumes not used by at least one container it sounds good I'll press Y and enter and now it's doing some stuff it says the first time you run this command it will take a while downloading the docker installation the battle code server will initialize and you will see the prompt to play games open either this on Mac Windows Pro Linux or this on Windows 10 Home. So that second link, that second URL is going to be the one that we want to click on because we're on Windows 10 Home. And conveniently that's provided here as a clickable link. 
Okay, so there was that notice. To play these games, select one of these links. Holding the control key, I can left click it and it'll show up in a new window. And this is the battle code user interface for running matches this year. We can specify some variables here, but they don't matter. And we can specify which team is playing against which other team. And already we have the game specified and seeded with some example players. So there's an example player written in C, Java, and Python. And there's, some, uh, there's one test map available at the moment as of the time of this recording. It's probably different now. Okay, let's go back to those instructions. It says, do not close the Docker quick start window. That's this one. Okay, we won't close it. Go to the second URL, this one. I, I clicked on that one and that's what came up there. And you should see a website and that's the web interface to this Docker container thing. You run battle code matches using this website GUI. Okay, the Docker quick start window will not accept commands at this point. It's listening to the GUI. Okay, so I can see that it's not, it doesn't have a command line here that I can type into. That's okay, I won't type into it. I won't use control C, I won't mess it up. I'm just gonna let it be happy and sit there. Sort of like your cat, you know, is on the couch and it's just like relaxing. Just let it sit there, it's having a good time. Um, run a test using the GUI. Select run game at the lower right. Live player logs should appear on screen. Okay, let's try that. Click run game. Okay, so here are the live player logs and you'll note there are four of them. Red Earth, Blue Earth, Red Mars, Blue Mars. And right now, each of these players doesn't do much. Most of what it's doing is just printing the round number. And um, just to save time, I'm gonna click end game because I've already run that match. What it'll do is it'll put a replay file like this. Here it's called re replay.bc18. It'll put that into battlecode-scaffold-master. Um, so here's a, here's a replay file. Yeah, you can see that this window here on the left, the cat that was on the couch, it wasn't just sitting there, it was watching the whole time. And in fact, it was doing all the computation. I think the analogy with a cat kind of breaks down at this point. I'm gonna stick with it anyway. Okay, so the live player logs appeared, the match ran. When it ends, the live logs disappear and the match indicates which player won. Okay, and a match file is produced. To see a visual representation of that match, you can load the match file using the viewer. But first we have to download the viewer. Okay, so it says visit this website here and select the Windows link under the bullet point. Okay, so click here, select Windows. Okay, I'm going to hit cancel because I've already downloaded this, Windows release.zip. I'm going to go back to the downloads folder and I'm going to extract all from the Windows release zip file that downloads. If you like a lot of data, you're in luck because these files are big. They got tons of data in them. I'm pretty sure that's what they mean when they say big data and big data is the next big thing. You heard it from me here for first folks. Okay. This PC downloads Windows release, Windows release. So we can double click on clientwindows.exe and select run. And I'll minimize some things to get them out of the way. Okay, so it brings this configuration window. I'm going to select very low graphics quality because I'm recording a live stream right now, uh, with this video anyway. And I'll select a modest screen resolution. I like windowed mode. Um, and then I'll select play. And this opens the 3D viewer. There may be a 2D viewer on its way. For those of you who prefer 2D. And there's some sound. Um, I'm going to make sure that, okay, you guys didn't hear much of that sound. You should check your audio levels before you turn this on because you might get surprised. Okay, let's turn all that sound off. Let's go back to the instructions and see where we are. Okay, to see a visual representation, download the viewer. Okay, I downloaded it. I unzipped the file. Before running the viewer, reduce your system volume. Okay, I probably should have read that. Double click the client windows.exe and select your choice of resolution, windowed mode, and click play. Okay, now you can load the match file by selecting the icon with three bars at the top of the screen. Navigate to the BC18 scaffold directory where it's stored. Okay, so the, here's the icon with three bars. And let's go back, back. Now we're in the downloads directory. So we need to get to the BC18 directory here where that file. Ha, huh, here it is. BC18 master, BC18. Okay. And now if I scroll down, there should be a replay file. There it is. 
So I've selected it, and now you can't just double click on it. You have to click this little select button here. Okay. So then you click it, and it's not done yet. It's not going to show us anything. We have to click the play button. See up in the upper left corner here? You click the play button. Then you can use the scroll wheel to zoom out and the WASD keys to pan around the map. And you can zoom in and see that players are moving around. And that, my friends, is a visual description of this year's battle code game. Some people don't like 3D. The 2D viewer is, is probably going to be made available soon. Um, so you've got a map for Earth and you've got a map for Mars. This is the Mars minimap. More controls and things will be added to this later. Right now it's in sort of a bare bones mode. But I just wanted to get you guys started on the installation and getting things set up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Next section, writing your own bot. So to get started with your own bot, you can modify one of the example Funks players located in the BC18 scaffold directory. Let's look at that for a moment here, and then we'll be done with this installation tutorial video. Here's BC18 scaffold master, and you can see that it has these three players. Remember when we looked at the user interface here, we could see that there were three players. Those are just these three folders here. And if we wanted to make a new player, we could just copy one of these existing folders, copy it, and I'm going to call this one uh, Lecturer Player or something like that. And then, oh, it's not here. What do I do? I have to refresh this. So I'm going to use Control R to refresh this web user interface. And there it is. The Lecturer Player is now there. And if we open this file up with Idle or Notepad++, then we can see that this is a file and we can edit it and make changes and then save it. And you don't need to refresh this every time you change it. Only time, you only need to refresh this window anytime you make a new player that you want to appear in the drop down box. Oh, so there you go. Um, that's how to edit files, add them as players, view the match files. You're going to use this Docker quick start terminal and the viewer together with the website user interface and whatever your favorite editor is and all those will be floating around somewhere on your screen and that's how you're gonna program for this year's battle code i hope this installation video helps if you have problems then uh, please let us know on the discord channel which is available as a link in uh, on our website battlecode.org I also thank you very much for your patience. I realize this is Wednesday and it's uh, late in the day as well on Eastern Standard Time. And you guys have been very patient at receiving these instructions. There will be problems with the instructions and with the battle code game itself. And these are bugs that you should report and be patient with. After all, it's a brand new release. We're just students. We're doing our absolute best to put this on. And we thank you so much for joining, joining us with battle code. And we hope that you're going to learn and have a good time. You're going to forget all of the problems you had with the installation. Okay, maybe you won't forget them. Maybe they'll stay with you for the rest of your life. But what will also stay with you are the lessons you've learned and the friendships you've made with all the people on your team as you rat out on us devs for being no good lazy bums. I mean, not that we're lazy bums. We get no sleep. We work all the time. So anyway, enough for this video. I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.